Another aspect of Islamic personality is that a, a Muslim who is committed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always concerned about remembering of Allah. Remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means that a person whether he is in battlefield or doing a professional course remembers Allah by his bounties, by his good names and by observing his duty. Our duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that whenever he wants us to form ourselves into a line, stand up in masjid, stand up in society, make a formation in jihad, whenever and wherever he wants us to organize ourselves, we follow his advice, his command and submit to it. Zikr or remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not a matter of a few syllables, a few words you chant, but zikr is a matter of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you are tempted by your self-desire, by shaitan, by any situation to act arrogantly and you are reminded of your very nature which is so weak that you cannot be arrogant. Zikr means when you are trying to behave with your wife impolitely and you are reminded this is wrong. Zikr means when you are dealing in trade and you have chances of putting products which are not of high quality. You put up only those products which are of good quality. You have a choice to deceive people. You don't deceive them. That is where zikr comes and operates. Zikr means that remembrance which keeps you away from deviance, from immorality, from doing things in a negative manner, but they always, it always reminds you to come up with positive, constructive and creative approach. Similarly, Islamic personality is not a matter of a few external aspects. I said in the beginning, we associate personalities usually with their appearance. Islamic personality is not a matter of a nice appearance, but a weak character. But it's a matter of uniformity, it's a matter of unity, it's a matter of integration, and therefore you cannot exclude a number of people who may not have typical Islamic appearance, but they may have all those characters which Islam wants to see in Islamic personality. If someone is extremely responsible in his job, if someone is extremely punctual, if someone is extremely concerned about his family members, his children, his wife and parents, if someone is fulfilling his obligations towards neighbors, yet he is apparently not using a dress which you think is Islamic. The personality is still Islamic. It needs some more improvement. But you cannot say this person is un-Islamic. On that count, I find quite often in our society, if you are in the market and a lady passes by you in hijab, you say here is the ideal Islamic character. Next lady who is not observing hijab, you say this is not a good woman, she is corrupt. I believe our judgment could be completely wrong. And the one who for some reason is not observing hijab may have much more knowledge of Islam, may be more Allah conscious, may be more truthful 
more honest and more fair than someone who is apparently wearing an Islamic dress. This judgment cannot be passed. You have to hold to your judgment till you are able to deal with the person. It is the character, the attitude, the response, the way of doing a thing which tells you whether personality is Islamic or un-Islamic. Umar bin al-Khattab made a historic statement and said, I cannot bear witness about anyone unless I have met three conditions. Either he is my neighbor or he is my business partner or he is my partner in traveling. A criteria that tells you about secrets of personality. You cannot hide your personality when you are traveling with a friend. You cannot hide your personality when you deal in money matters. You cannot hide your personality when you are living as a neighbor. When you live as a neighbor, you will know whether a person is really fair, honest or a cheat. You meet hundreds of people every day and no one jumps at you, no one starts fighting with you, but they always smile. Does that mean everyone who is wearing a smiling face is a fair person? Therefore, we need to be very much careful in our judgments about individuals and personalities. Nevertheless, a total personality is which in appearance as well as in nature confirms. Someone who has a false appearance and a nice inside and someone who has a nice appearance and false inside both for me are unauthentic. Authenticity means that one should be able to meet both ends, not only claiming. In our heart we have plenty of Iman, but don't tell us to observe Islam. Allah knows our Iman. You are nobody to ask us. Nor the approach that you simply observe externality and measure taqwa and iman and Islamic personality by the measurement of dress and forget about the conduct, the attitude, the behavior, the responses. So Islamic personality is a combination of these two aspects and that's why we said in the beginning it's an integrated personality, not a personality which is divided in many halves. A personality who is very Allah conscious when inside the masjid, but when in business extremely uh, dishonest. A personality who is crying and weeping in front of Haram al Sharif in, in Kaaba, but when ruling a country, a terrorist. A personality who may be respecting his parents and very humble, but with his children, cruel. Islam refers to personality in terms of those who are not changing their color, who are not changing their face, who are not moving with the wind. But Islamic personality means a balanced composite personality which is able to act and respond in all situations with patience, with confidence, with trust, uprightness and honesty.